Um, hello, good afternoon, friends. It's almost Christmas. Um, I just showed this Christmas tree. It's not ours. Okay, okay, I got them. Okay, okay, okay. Hello. Um, this is Nicholas, and then April's beside me, and then it's. We're gonna talk about planners. It's talk about planners, and then it's like this. You can change it anywhere. Um, thank you. I think you can open this also. You can open. Look. This thing, and also I cannot close it. Hello there friends, my name is April San Pedro and in this video, I'm going to share with you the three different planners that is actually available from Artisan Papery. You might actually find what suits your needs best. So whether you're a softbound kind of planner or a hardbound or a ring binder. Alright, so first things first. These are all artisan papery blanco planner. Uh, so I've been making my very own planner since a few years back. And I'm on to my sixth edition for this year. So if you're not quite familiar with artisan papery blanco, they are undated planners. Um, they have prompts inside and it's in vertical form. And for the, you will see later on that for the recent ones, I have more prompts that will actually help you list all your goals and dreams for the coming year. So let's go start. So let's start with a very recent one, which is this planner. So this one is the very recent Artisan Papery Blanco Planner. It's on the sixth edition, but this is a reprint from last year. Um, so it's an A5 size comes in two colors so this one is uh technically call it black but if you see it in actual it's more of like a very um it's like more of like a black brownish feel <laughs> and then the other one is a gray uh, so the binding is i would say like a soft bound or like a paper back it can lay flat once you open it oh this one is still new so it doesn't lay flat so it's, let's say this one yeah, so it lays flat when you open it and then it also comes with a transparent sticker and it's very light um, so basically if you're into journaling if you like writing this size will be quite um, comfortable for you because it's just literally just like another notebook size except that it's a planner or it has other things that you can put in aside from just your feelings and thoughts so the three planners that i'll be sharing with you is pretty much almost the same when it comes to layout but every time i have a new design there's always something new when it comes to the prompt and an add-on things aside from just the weekly and the monthlies so let's say so i want to share with you a quick view of this of the sixth edition now i also have a separate video of this one the unboxing and what's really inside so since this is the very recent artisan papery blanco planner this has the updated prompts based from the previous ones that I had. The updated ones are like, it comes with a word of the year, a letter to yourself, and then there's a looking back page, looking forward, intentions, dreams, focus of this year. So pretty much these are some of the prompts that you can use while before the year starts. And then after that, there's also a quarter focus that you can write on for every month of the quarter and then year at the glance and after that you will have the monthlies and then monthly tracker and the weeklies and then that goes on for 12 months and at the back of it 
there's a bills tracker and a payment tracker and a little bit in a one spread blank page for your notes so like i said a while ago this is the updated one so it comes with a lot of prompts inside compared to the previews too um so one thing they have in common though is the vertical layout for the weeklies so it's in vertical layout because um it originally started from so it's in vertical format because from the previous planners that I had, which is the previous two, um, technically there's a division where you can put the morning part here and the afternoon part here. And this one is for your priority of the day. So um, I kind of realized that when it comes to to-do list errands and, you know, things that we really need to do my brain works perfectly if it's in vertical form because i am able to run down from top to bottom or i can separate from morning and afternoon the things that i needed to do so pretty much the three planners that i'll be showing with you is of is in vertical form when it comes to the weeklies so that's about the sixth edition or the very recent one that we have for 2024 planner now the next one was actually used from 2022 and it's pretty much the same it has pretty much the same layout from the sixth edition which what what i showed a while ago but in a different form which is a ring format and in leather cover but pretty much the same what's inside which i'm gonna share with you in a bit um however the cover that is available for now are quite different already because this one when we release this um for 2022 it's a collaboration from a friend of mine who's also a crafter a leather crafter back here in davao city and since that one was sold out and She's quite busy already. I sourced out a different leather cover for the ring binder. For this planner, what's available is this kind of leather cover, but still in ring bind. But instead of the vegan, pan vegan leather, which is this one, this is more of like a synthetic kind of leather, which is a bit cheaper than when we release the original one but it's also a six ring binder but and it comes with pockets on the sides and here compared to this so this one has only two side pockets while the other one or the one that is already available has more pockets inside so Originally, I only have two color way available when we release this one. But right now, I do have three colors for you. So you can choose from black, brown, and the white leather cover. So like I said, it's pretty much the same as the last or the previous planner. But since the 6th edition is more updated, based from what I learned from using this one. So like here there's also a word for the year but it doesn't have a letter to yourself and then there's also a calendar stickers uh the intention and dreams focus of the year and it ends there but there's no looking back and looking forward page and you also find different quotes every start of the month it also has a year of the glance and then a quarter focus and then every month there's a different page that comes with a quote there's also a calendar log and a monthly log so calendar log is more of like the future events so if you have upcoming events holidays vacation and all this is where you put those um things the monthly log is where when it actually already happened so if let's say 
the trip happened, this is where you actually log those things. So it's more of like future and if it re it. So and then next is the monthly tracker, which you can also find um, on the recent one. But here it was more of like one page for the monthly tracker and the other one is for check-in. While for the recent one, it's more of like the entire um, spread. So I divide it into the first half of the month and the other half of the month. So you'll have more space and then you can add more notes for your tracker um, rather than just a very small space for it. And then there's also a gratitude space. And then the next one is just your usual weekly. So, like I said a while ago, it's pretty much the same, uh, especially that it's in vertical form, except that it has a slightly different layout. And then at the back, it also has a bills tracker and a payment tracker as well. And then there's also a space for important dates, which I removed for the <laughs> recent planner. So for the ring binder planner, it's in three colors. And this is the refill for that. So it already comes with the monthly pages, which is a thicker, pa thicker paper compared to the usual pages. So that's about the ring binder. Now the last, but definitely not the least, is the fifth edition of the Blanco Planner, which is in hardbound cover. Now, um, I'm not really quite sure if this is a B6 um, size because I haven't, I don't have a big B6 size notebook with me, but this is definitely shorter in width compared to the A5. So as you can see, it is, uh, it has a shorter width, but it has the same height as the A5, so there. So this one originally was released um, way back 2017, I think, and it comes in four colors, but the ones that are left already is just the white one. So before we had four colorways, which is the black, craft, um, teal and the white ones and the white ones is the only one that is left available for now uh, so this one is actually a fourth edition it's pretty much the same as the pre as the previous one except it has less prompts so this is how it looks like so as you can see it's really white and it's not in cream this is how it looks like it's just plain it has a gold foil stamping at the front at the cover well, the other one, which is the recent one, it's just a blind emboss here. I also forgot to mention that the cover for the recent one is made out of recycled paper. So this one doesn't come with a cover, but it's a hard bound and it doesn't lay flat. But if you like the idea of hard bound, which I'm actually used to, then this is probably the planner for you. Okay, so when you open it, there's just the information, the goals, which is very plain. It just has a title of goals, but there's no prompt. And then there's a space for notes. And then goes to the monthly page already. Uh, so if you notice, the monthlies are quite small because it's just half of the page. And then there's a, another page for the title of the month and then the weeklies now here it's less complicated compared to the recent one so it doesn't have prompts like this on the side so there's no motivation weeks goals weeks tasks and small wins but it's just plainly the entire week for you and then another one that is different here is that the weekend which is a saturday and sunday they share the same space here so that goes on for 12 months and then at the back of it you can just find two pages for your notes 
and then there's a space for birthdays and anniversaries and so that's it it's just a simple planner but it's more of like a functional thing so that's the overall overview of the art design paper you blanco planner um so i forgot to mention that the paper is actually a fountain pen friendly so i'm i'm quite particular with the paper i use because me myself also like using different materials and different um tools to play with my planner uh, so if you can see here i like playing with die cut ephemeras i also like using brush markers um stickers photos and i like using different kinds of pens from gel pens ballpoint fountain pen of course and to um felt tip all sorts of things so tested when it comes to different kinds of writing materials um i also saw some of the users use some watercolor to add um decorations for their pages instead of stickers and um pens so yeah um the paper is i would say that i'm actually proud of this paper because me myself is really very meticulous when it comes to paper um also if you like using stamps um it can handle distress oxide as you can see there are no bleeding a little bit of ghosting but at least but to me it's not as bothering so much that you cannot see anymore what's on the page already so i have a video that i talk about the planners i used for about 20 years already um because of that you'll also understand that's why there's there are different kinds of planner styles available for the previous years up to the recent one because i myself is also discovering what kind of a planner person am i so originally i started with a book bind or a hard bound kind of planner that's why this was inspired by that um so i i really like the idea that the cover is hard bound um it's sturdy um however with this binding it does not lay flat but at that point it doesn't really bother me that much uh so it's pretty much that's the reason why this was a hard bound because i was originally coming from that kind of um planner uh i still like this format because there's still something about a hard bound book there's just something prestige about having a hard bound so if you're that kind of person that you go for the feel on your hand like it's an actual book then you might actually choose a hard bound and if you're still starting like you still don't want to um go into the prompts and other things you just want to write your to do and your errands for the entire year since this one is it has a very simple layout inside then this may be for you so the next one i got curious with the ring binder i've tried ring binders before but in a small format although i don't really recall the feeling while i was using the previous ones but this one when i tried it out there's also a pros and cons now the pros though is like i really like the idea that you can add and remove some of the pages so like here i actually experimented some of the pages so i have an extension for the monthly page so the previous ones were just a one page layout but then later on i tried using a one whole spread for the monthly and then you can just fold it so there's the beauty of having a ring binder you can just remove and add any pages that you like so so that's one thing another thing though is of course it can also lay flat but other than that if it bothers you then you can just take it out the page you can just take out the page and then decorate it 
outside your cover but that's also the disadvantage side for me like i have to remove it every now and then if it if it's already bothering so so that depends on you but one thing with ring binder is aside from the refills of course that is already given if you have a digital um, refill for the same size of the planner you can just simply add on or you can um, add some photos as well that you can just attach to it and other things so that really depends on your preference because I know for a fact that there are um, planner people who's really into the ring binder and and I believe they're actually coming back for next year as i've heard from the planner community so if that's um the type of planner you are then i have three color options for you now if you're into journaling um you like to write you like to reflect and all those things this version is might be actually nice for you because it comes with different prompts like i said a while ago so you can add photos you can write your um, reflection and your dreams and stuff like that and of course if you like the journal I'm pretty sure you have other <laughs> journals or notebooks with you aside from the planners so this one will come very handy because it's just a very light it has a light weight compared to this other two um, also it lays flat so if you like to decorate your page you can just fully play with it without adding clips on the side another thing about this version is you can definitely decorate the cover although this one did not stop me from decorating my cover as well um, but it's I think it's easier with this version plus it has a transparent or a clear cover already so your cover will be protected compared to this one but honestly this does not bother me at all i think the dirt the texture that it creates with the planner comes with the idea that it is pre-loved and it's it is well loved and used for the entire year this on the other hand since it it's a leather cover it's gonna be quite hard to decorate it but I'm pretty sure if you're a ring binder person, you wouldn't mind at all because you just like the leather cover style, the simplicity of it, and then you just do all the decorating and all the writing on the review. So, so that's it, folks. Um, I believe there are a few more other options for the planner, especially for the sizes. Like, there's weeks there's b6 there's also a6 but for now what's available in artisan papery are this three um basically almost the size of um, a5 this one is also an a5 size except for this so it has a lot of room for your writing and all so i hope this video helps you um, in a way give you a little idea of what kind of a planner person are you or what kind of planner do you want to try on if this is probably your first time if you have more questions um, or any concerns about planners um, I would be very happy to answer them if I can so just leave me a comment um, you can also find me on Instagram which I am more active there so if you have anything concern about planners that I can help you with by all means feel free to comment all of these are available in my Shopee account you can also find stickers there and other accessories that you can use for your planner and your journals I also have other videos um, where I set up some of the planners and also for journaling so if you fancy them i'm just gonna put the link down below all right thank you so much for watching friends i hope you enjoyed this one and have a great 
weekend and happy planning um hello um i have a surprise and then there's a box down here and then this is my toys Ta okay um, this is a planner mm -hmm. and then you can put your drawings there your pictures mm -hmm. your um your stickers and that's it thank your, you for watching this um your flowers your dreams mm -hmm. where you go um bye bye thank you for all of this video again again all right say again bye 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 thank you for all of this video thank you for watching thank you watching thank you for thank you for enjoying the